as years go by, the longer comics go, it does seem like more powerhouses or more kind of like somewhat called knockoff versions of the same characters we love start to come out. Like over the years, it was originally the Hulk and then, you know, of course, She-Hulk. And then as you know, the Gamma family has grown quite a bit to the point where another Gamma family, technically a member, has been informed, but in the form of this guy named Weapon H, who is basically like the Hulk and Wolverine combined, which would think you would think would be a deadly combo. I mean, it actually is pretty much to a degree but at the same time you would think somebody with this kind of combo he'll have more flashy feats i mean he does have flashy feats when it comes to battle feats but when i say flashy feats i'm more than likely talking about inanimate object feats like leveling cities leveling planets leveling dragging stuff that's super big like dragging the earth or stuff like that holding a star up or stuff like that those are generally the things that people consider flashy and a lot of people tend to underestimate battle feats especially if they don't know the battle or characters they're fighting but web age is one of those characters he doesn't necessarily have all them flashy feats. He has flashy feats when it comes to fighting people in the comments, but he doesn't have flashy feats as poor. You're not going to see him bust no star and stuff like that. But, I mean, when it comes to scaling, we all know in our heads the writers intend for him to be on the level of their black hole level gamma beings. I mean, it only makes sense. Or he wouldn't be able to give the Hulk a fight like he did in his actual runs. Yeah. yeah. I first heard about Weapon H being released. I thought he was going to be super crazy overpowered because we all know how deadly adamantium claws are in the hands of characters like Wolverine. Characters that are only like in the two ton range of strength, five ton range at best of lifting strength, striking strength, and things like that. But yet those claws can fatally harm, wound, cut, make bleed levels beings on the black hole level or even beings higher than on the black hole level. So you would think a being that's already on the black hole level without those claws, with those claws added on top of him would just push him to new heights. For the most part, it didn't really push him to the new heights like I thought, but at the same time, he's still impressively strong. But how strong is he, though? Weapon H. Clay Cortez was a soldier who refused to go along with killing a bunch of innocents, but instead choosing to gun down the other men that were doing this dark deed. As a result of this, he was handed to Weapon X as a result of this, after being detained, of course. And it just so happened that they wanted to make a combination of Hulk, Wolverine. The fact they even went through a bunch of failures. I love when they show stuff like this because it just... I hate when they make all these knockoff versions of the same character and they're just perfectly done. Like, it, it makes sense for them to have failures. And I like that they are failures because, you know, if it was that easy, right, you just keep on making Hulks, right? So I like that it was actually a tedious process. Conveniently, Clayton proved to be the perfect test subject, conveniently, right, for story purposes. <laughs> Thus, he was given nanotech adamantium claws to lace his skeleton. Yeah. Imbued with gamma radiation and Hulk's genetics on top of all this. And a whole bunch of generic mutants powers on top of the hulk and wolverine put together you see all those characters on the wall like most experience do when it comes to these science people he broke free and of course by the looks of it, this is probably going to be a very very short feat run based on the research i've done it's not too much stuff to do so don't be surprised if you see a lot of casual feet stuff stuff that gamma means should do with relative ease like you know ripping apart trees and forests and stuff like that i'm just letting you know he doesn't have that many flashy feet though on top of him being a gamma mean with Wolverine claws. How about the fact he has military training on top of all this? This is freaking broken. Little, you know, casual stuff. He can control how many claws pop out. Like Wolverine. Having only two come out. And somehow smell liars or whatever this means. There's a case where he shows regeneration. Oh yeah, this is during his fight with Hulk, by the way. Yeah, the main man. He got his sight a moment later. <laughs> yeah, this is after the events of the Hulk and him fighting. He went after the leader. I'm going to start off this feat run very, you know, going right to the nitty gritty. Fighting the man myth himself himself, the Hulk himself, Bruce Banner Hulk himself. And at the moment, he's fighting the Immortal Hulk. Got some pretty good hits on the Hulk himself. Yeah, I know I'm saying the Hulk himself a lot. I'm being funny. But yeah, he slugged it out with the Hulk to a degree. Even got the advantage over the Hulk. Moments like this, I wonder why he didn't just have his claws out. But, you know, writers. I know this isn't a Hulk feat run, but this is actually a feat for the Hulk to get slashed to the face and not like be out of commission from a being that's on his level of strength and has this ridiculous adamantium claws. Adamantium claws where people in the two ton, five ton range of raw power can harm people with, but a being in the black hole level with these claws, you would think it would be one sided, but it wasn't. Even though he did get the advantage on Hulk in this occasion. There's this time he had his chest impaled and he was fine, showing his regeneration. Oh, that's so cute. Characters like Captain America tried to hurt Weapon H. Yeah, nice try, buddy. Moms like this don't do nothing to him, evidently. Even an explosion. Wendigos has been foes to gamma beings for years on end. And a lot of people that are not educated about Wendigos, people think, oh, this ain't really no fear or nothing really that impressive. I mean, Wendigos have always been considered mini bosses to hulkish level beings. I mean, I know that's not necessarily equals, but to be a mini boss, you would have to be stronger than your other type of characters. Like, a mini boss for a gamma being wouldn't be characters like Captain America, so they're obviously stronger than them. Like, when I say mini bosses, I'm talking about that they're actually 
Usually they're not strong enough to beat them one-on-one, -on -one, but in a group they're a threat and the fact they can actually harm them with their attacks and things like that. Everybody knows the Hulk's feats. Heck, I have a whole bunch of pages and feats. I have a whole bunch of videos about Hulk on my page, and man, the Hulk is always pretty decently challenged by Wendigo, so there's no easy feat for Weapon H for those that are concerned. Yeah, like on more than one occasion, the Wendigos have been a threat to Hulk. Like I said, yeah, they're considered mini-bosses. They've even been kind of threats to Red Hulk, too, other Gamma beings. So, yeah, they're consistent. I hope you guys get the point by now. Being a Gamma being, of course, he can, you know, just shrug off gunfire, obviously, right? Like, like a whole bunch. Oh, these people are trying to fight him. Yeah, good luck with that. I don't even know why they even have these lower tier characters even trying to fight. You know what? Characters like Domino are no match for him, obviously, right? Even getting hit in the eye with the bullets from Domino. Wolverine, the man, the myth, of legend himself, the man with the that made Adamantium Claws famous. Weapon H has some really good regenerative healing factor. This is one of the cases I told you about. Being like Wolverine that's nowhere near in his strength league can hang with top tier beings because of these doggone claws. Being able to freaking cut Weapon H in the head. And he's not mortally wounded. Yes, he's cut. But his healing factor allows him to hang in there and... Keep on going, showing his raw power and things like that. Wolverine is slashing him too, all over the place. This is a very cool feat. Pete like the lowball him. Why you struggling with a Wolverine level character? Wolverine is not your typical, some would say, enhanced the level character or a lower tier character. He's not your typical one. Yes, he can lose the characters like Spider-Man in a fight. Yes, but Wolverine is one of those weird people. Thanks to his claws, if he actually lands a hit on powerhouses, he can actually harm them quite a bit. During his fight with, uh, you know, the giant Wendigo, of course, they create avalanches like Wendigos. I, I try to tell people to stop underestimating Wendigos. Another occasion of him generating from getting pierced all the way through his body. Characters like Titanium seem to not be nothing to him. Poor Domino and them. Had like all this metal follow him for it to not even work. Huh, poor them. Another Hulk Marine hybrid, you know, this must have been a lower tier one. He, he actually literally chopped his head off like, whoa. I just showed you a strength feat, but I'm about to get into some of his strength attack power feats and things like that to really show why he is a Gamma member and concretes himself with the powerhouses, even though a lot of people don't want to accept it. I mean, that's just how he's written. He's, he's meant to be in that level for a reason. I mean, that's just how they want him. They wouldn't have him fight all these crazy level characters if they didn't want him on that level. I'm just saying, that's just how it is. You know the totally awesome Hulk, you know, Amadeus Chow, the Asian Hulk? He actually gave him the works without even looking like he had his claws out this occasion. No, I think he did, though. Yeah, he definitely had his claws out. Of course, you know, during his fight with a, a bunch of mutants, Old Man Logan and freaking Domino, of course, he actually made them death for quite a bit, like with his attacks. It makes that much of a boom. Yeah, Warpath, you know, that uh, super durable mutant, supposedly, yeah, he got impaled by Weapon H, got bodied. It was Wolverine, too. I don't know why they have these lower tier people fighting Weapon H, and this is a Gamma B. He knocks out Warpath, Sabretooth, and etc. with his attacks. Yeah, of course, he's strong enough to make big old craters. With his attack power, yeah, here's another angle of the crater. So X-23, you know, the supposedly new Wolverine, the, you know, got, yeah, completely pinned her to the ground. I showed this early, I know, but I didn't really talk about it that much. But yeah, you, that was that's what happened in earlier issue. And Domino's over there shooting bullets over there in the next panel. I don't know why I'm doing this to Domino, man, but knocks out Domino, by the way. Like, yeah, like they're all laid out. <laughs> Wolverine too. Strong as Wolverine is with his claws usually, yeah. Remember how I talked about the Wendigos earlier now? Everybody sleeps on them. Well, I'm just going to show you an occasion of him actually giving the Wendigo some work. Like, yeah, he really, he really effing up Wendigos, like, really bad, badly. I'm not joking. Like, he just, he just messed it up. He's not that this window was the most, most powerful of them all. Yeah, the most powerful Wendigo got beat down about by Weapon H. Because he supposedly ate the other Wendigos? Ooh, look, Doctor Strange. More occasion of him messing up fodder, slices off the cyborg's head. He uses Doctor Strange's axe by cutting himself out of a large Wendigo with it. Yeah, I, oh man. Weapon H already has his claws. Like, really? A magical axe too? But yeah, this ain't his permanent gear, of course, though. Just the album of him slicing through people. Well, not people, actual mutants. <laughs> Enjoy the show of Weapon H just fodderizing everybody. Further concrete itself into the powerhouse level, he was able to... Slug it out with this being known as the man thing. This is not the original main man thing, of course, though. But, I mean, I don't know how the power skill works to different ones. But it must be some generic version of man thing, if I'm assuming. Still a decent feat, though. Nothing super flashy since. It's not the main man thing, right? Eat down time, though. Sheesh. Even does a thunderclap knocking out man thing. 
album of him just beating up monsters, like like a bunch. <laughs> As you can see, just fodderizing them. <laughs> I love when people do this, slamming two monsters head together, knocking them both out. They able to slice through some mystical orb, like mysticalness, cool. You know how I brought up him, you know, handling Immortal Hulk? He messed up Immortal Hulk only because of the virus thing, but Immortal Hulk seemed like he did have the advantage over here. But being able to slug it out with Hulk himself, the man himself, the powerhouse, you know, poster boy for Marvel, some would say himself is ridiculously impressive. I don't even have to get into all the feats Immortal Hulk has. You can just look through my page. As you can see, he was suffering from a virus, which is the only reason he was able to get advantage over him. But he was locking hands with Hulk himself, even though the Hulk did have the slight edge, even with those crazy claws. While it is true, Weapon H did not fight the main, main man thing, the main, you know, his name is Theodore Salas. It is true that you cannot directly scale this version of man thing to like the version of man thing that Weapon H fought. But just to give you an idea of what the real man thing could do, he's always been considered a heavy hitter. Being able to give a beast like the Hulk a slugfest, like showing these two are actual two monsters in their own rights. On more than one occasion, being able to slug it out with the man myth himself, the Hulk himself back in the old days. I will admit, man, I don't know what that level of man thing was that Weapon H fought, but man, I, I wonder if it scales to the main one, though, to some degree. Even if it isn't exactly equal, maybe what is it, 70%, 60%, 50%, who knows, what is it? Well, guys, that's just about to do it. I did warn you that it's not going to be that super flashy. He like He's a relatively new character. He doesn't have that many issues, hasn't made that many appearances. There's probably some feats I missed, but let me know if you know if there's some you want me to go over. I might add them in another video in the future or something. I do take feedback and advice, too. But what do you guys think of this feat? Right? Did you enjoy it? Did you know he was this strong? How do you like the scaling I did to try to give him some more love? Since he doesn't have you know major flashy feats on his own, like busting planets, shattering planets, holding open black holes, I thought it would be the best idea to actually show how he is when it comes to scaling purposes. What I mean by that, when it comes to scaling purposes, I mean compare him to a being that have actually have accomplished these feats. Like the Hulk, debatably, has some of the best flashy feats of all time in Marvel history, and he was able to slug it out with the man that missed himself, Immortal Hulk himself. I mean, heck, we've seen Immortal Hulk do crazy stuff. For those that are not familiar with this new Devil Hulk, aka Immortal Hulk persona, the reason why Weapon H mat matching him blow for blow and getting the advantage of Immortal Hulk is such an impressive feat, Immortal Hulk has caused a big ruckus in the community and show how strong the Hulk can actually be. Immortal Hulk has shown overpowering powerhouses like Wonder Man. I mean, Immortal Hulk fight the entire Avengers, including that version of, you know, Jason Aaron Force Thor or whatever, like beating the entire Avengers, along with powered up versions of She-Hulk as well, like the amped man-ish looking She-Hulk, like Hulked out She-Hulk too. And Weapon H was able to get the advantage over Immortal Hulk to some degree. If that doesn't make him black hole level in the concrete, I don't know what does. I mean, he's fought when he goes many bosses for Hulk, beings that can hurt the Hulk and things like that. He even fought Immortal Hulk himself, a being that's a team buster that fought the entire Avengers, including characters like Ghost Rider and freaking Thor. I mean, as the Immortal Hulk issue goes farther, you can see him fighting even more people. The fact that Immortal Hulk is consistently shown to be able to fight Sasquatch, overpower Wendigos, etc. Same with Weapon H being able to fight Immortal Hulk is freaking ridiculous. Like I said a million times already, he doesn't have the most flashy feats, but hey, some can label the feats with him talk with flashy i mean that's just me that could just be over analyzing but i think those are pretty flashy but what do you guys think i think they're pretty flashy post your comments down below let me know what you all think make sure you check out the links in the description of course the playlist in the description you might like it the affiliate links in the description you might like to see the gear i use i'm very cheap budget youtuber and very affordable at the moment of me making this video as well but make sure you guys post your comments down below let me know what you all think make sure you check out those playlists make sure you do that you do not want to miss that Make sure you check out those affiliate links as well. But I'll see you guys next time. Post some comments down below. Let me know what you all think. Stay frosty. Dude.